You know, philosophers are perhaps the most quotable people of, of any age. A quote that I think of regularly is one by Friedrich Nietzsche from his work Beyond Good and Evil. And it goes, one who deals with monsters should take care that he himself does not become a monster. For when you look into the abyss for too long, it also looks back into you. That's a, that's a really deep quote. And, um, and mind you, it was written before he went bonkers with encephalitic uh, hepatitis and, and <laughs> syphilis. So there is some meaning in there if you want to get deep in it. He wasn't crazy before he wrote that quote. And I was wondering if, Mike, you might tell us what that quote means to you. An example of where it might be applicable <coughs> today. If I'm correct, the, the quote you're using is, can I get that quote again? It's, one who works with monsters should take care that he himself does not become a monster. And when you stare too long into the abyss, that also stares back into you. Okay. Hearing that quote brings back many of the memories <clears throat> that we've all faced, I'm sure, in combat deployment. Unfortunately, we like to think of ourselves as humanitarians, as people who are bringing freedom to other people, but in actuality, I can tell you that most of us think of ourselves at the time of a conflict as monsters. You shed every feeling you have of compassion, and you take that rifle and you shoot and kill anything that's trying to kill you. When the day is over and the mission is done, you have to take those clothing, you have to take that suit and that costume off, you have to bring back the compassion. <clears throat> and you have to come back to the real world and realize that every head that you see is not a target anymore. And so I believe in that sense, that quote is very applicable to today's military combat fighting people. <clears throat>